Hi, welcome to the Becca How To Series. I'm Jen Vaughn, and today we're going to discuss the camera control unit, also called the CCUs. We'll go over our configuration here in Studio One. We'll talk about the basic operation, including iris, gain, and shutter speed, the steps it takes for a proper white balance, and of course, a little bit about shading each of the CCUs. Now to start things off with our configuration here, you can see that we have three CCUs that are all the same type. These are the Sony CCUs. Our fourth CCU here is for our jib camera, which is a different type of camera down in the studio, and it has a different type of camera control unit. The first thing you wanna do when you come in is start off by bringing all of the panels active. Simply press the panel active button, the lights become green, and now your CCU is ready to control. The next step you wanna do is change the output from bars to camera. All you need to do is press the bars button and you will switch between bars to camera. Now we're able to see what we see in the control room right here, which is exactly what we're seeing down in the studio. Each of these cameras is hooked up to our waveform and vector scope monitor, which we'll go through in more detail in the second part of this how-to series. However, today we're going to talk about the CCUs. If you wanted to change which camera you're looking at, it's very simple. You have your own waveform monitor where you can route separate signals. So I'm just going to start off today by showing you the camera set up for white balance. We have camera two here. Now, when you white balance the camera, you always want to make sure that you're starting off under the proper lighting conditions. No colored gels on your light in the studio. Make sure the house lights are off. And I think it's very helpful to start with an automatic iris. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that each of my irises is set to auto by pressing the auto button. Now, the CCU is automatically going to open up the iris to the proper f-stop for our lighting conditions. When you turn the button off, it's in manual, then you can manually adjust your iris or your master blacks for each camera. You always want to make sure that you're in an auto iris before you begin the white balance. It's also very helpful to double check that the master gain is set to zero and our shutter speed is one one hundredth of a second. If you needed to adjust them, you could easily change your shutter speed up or down or adjust your gain up or down in case you had extreme low light conditions. Now we're ready to white balance. In this particular CCU, we have a toggle switch here where it says auto, white, or black. So you can white balance or black balance. For a simple white balance, all you need to do is toggle the switch up, let go, you'll see the light will turn red and then turn off. That means that you have completed your white balance. If you see the white balance button blinking, then you know you've done something wrong. Most often it's too much light. So all you need to do is either iris down, put your iris in auto, and try again. All right, a couple things that I wanted to explain about the iris here is that you can toggle between automatic and manual using this button. The next thing that you can do is in a manual iris, you can increase or decrease the brightness. And you can see that you're getting more or less light and you're raising the luminance on your vector scope. You can also adjust your black balance, which adjusts for contrast, and will allow you to have a very sharp image or a very soft image. The other things that we can adjust on here include our reds and blues. In addition to this, we also have our shutter speed and master gain. The default setting in this studio should always have our gain set at zero and our shutter set at 100. It's actually one one hundredth of a second. All right, now when we're shading these cameras, you wanna make sure that you have taken all of the irises out of automatic. So once you're in a manual iris, then you can shade for whites and for blacks. First thing you wanna do with the jib CCU is change your output from bars to camera. You can set your white balance for A or for B. This CCU has two memory modes. However, you need to make sure to white balance on A if you want to adjust your red or your blue. In order to white balance, press the AWB button and it will activate. 
On the bottom portion of the unit, you can control your iris and your master black. You toggle between auto and manual using this button here. When you're in a manual iris, you can then adjust the amount of light coming through and you can use this outer ring as a memory indicator of where your iris is set. You can also adjust the contrast by adjusting your master blacks up or down.